My grandfather's full on French. Like there's no, like there's no question about it. Very particular about wine and cheese. He gives me this crate of alcohol. And he kind of like gives it to me like this big gift, like a ceremonial passing over of heritage. This wine is very, uh, very important. Uh, you treat, treat them with respect. And so I, uh, you know, we used it to pregame a lot. So one night, uh, I'm hanging out at my place. A couple buddies come over. There's this one bottle that we haven't gotten into yet. It looks like it was buried at the bottom of the sea. It had this mystical quality to it that everybody was excited to finally try. We had no idea what it was. We take it out. As soon as we open up, the smell hits us. Like the souls of the men who had died to protect it were trapped inside. Caldemarge, Dallo, this bottle will be the death of you. Uh, this is a time in my life when I didn't really pay attention to red flags. I go to pour it and it starts to come out of the bottle like honey. And then having to like really gulp it to get this devil's brew like inside. <laughs> we run out into the parking lot and the rest of the night after that becomes this crazy blur. Like I've climbed in trees before. I mean, it's cool, they're trees. But these were the fingers of the earth. Emotionally, it's like we've had an orgy. <laughs> Heavy sobs like a baby. God, I'm so sorry. I look over by the fence and I see my friend Russ. I can see in his eyes that he is in like Jackie Chan mode. So my friend, bam, kicks in the window. But then looking at the pieces, like each one has like an entire universe inside of it. He's like, what are you doing? Tackles him into the street. I'm so sorry. This car is all I have. Pull him off of Maddie. Dude, you gotta calm down. Why? Because I can feel my fingernails growing. Something is happening to us. It's also like 7.30, like it's still early. People are getting home from work. <laughs> We're all feeling very vulnerable and scared. It's like we all shared one giant nightmare. So that night we all just slept in my bedroom. Wake up the next day, oddly feeling amazing. You know, I'm, I'm as angry as I've ever been at a 70 year old man and I'm on a mission. I open the door and he's in the kitchen and he's, you know, he always sings like little French lullabies. Rose au bleu bleu with the dishes and the water. And look, I love my grandfather, but it's judgment day for this French mother I've got the bottle in my hand. I'm like, I want to know what is in this devil drink. Oh, this is the chocolate bleu, rouge bleu bleu bleu, 17. This is a very, uh, it's a very good drink. Is it? Yes, yes, this is a, a very powerful French absinthe. I'm like, what? You drink this with uh, one tenth of the, the Jojol Bahu 17 and nine tenths water. This is all you need for the night. Well, I drank the whole bottle. Oh no, this is, uh, this is not good. You should not do this. I'm like, I already did it. After all of this, I'm fuming. And my grandfather just uh, poured me some champagne and gave me brie and I, uh, I got over it, like, immediately. 